Hey guys, what's up and welcome to this week's video. Um, so, I think the last thing I recorded was um, Alexis and uh, me and Kyle walking uh, up the hill. Um, so, that happened on like Monday. Um, and so this past week, I don't know if I said anything, but we had a strike um, a past, uh, for the past three days. Or I guess today, so today's Friday. Uh, and when I say past three days, I mean Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, and they were basically for workers' rights, um, asking for uh, more pay, uh, health care, something like that. Um, I could hear it from my house, um, um, which was interesting because it sounded a lot more like a party than it did than a strike uh, because there was music, people were cheering, um, and they were like, I don't know, it was weird. Um, but it was, I definitely like took a look at it and was kind of like, this this doesn't seem like a strike. Um, it seems more like a party. Um, but it was um, good. It was good that it happened um, just for um, workers in general. Um, however, for students, it was a whole different situation because uh, classes got canceled. Um, all my classes got canceled Monday through Wednesday. Um, and so, and even if they weren't canceled, I um, wasn't able to get up to campus just because. Um, just because, um, what's it called? Because, what's, what am I trying to say? Because the buses weren't running because of the workers um, running the loop buses and um, the Metro, the Santa Cruz uh, Metro buses weren't running at all. Um, they weren't running into campus and so they just looped around, uh, around the neighborhood actually. And um, they were just there. And so even if I could go to camp, go, even if, my classes weren't canceled. Um, I couldn't go to class um, just because of that, and so uh, yeah. So um, yeah. Other than that, um, oh Thursday, I didn't have class either because they were contingency canceled. Um, so yeah, very interesting. Um, and so today, Friday, it was my first day of class. So uh, <laughs> my first day of class this entire week. Um, which was in great, I guess. Um, I don't know. I have a midterm on Monday um, that I should be studying for, but instead of doing that, I am uh, on my way over to my sister's house because we're gonna go to a Taylor Swift concert. I don't know if you can hear um, Taylor Swift music in the background, and I realized I accidentally looped the song instead of um, looping the um, album. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert. Um, I think the last so why I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert um, is very, very sudden. Uh, my sister asked me on Monday or Sunday, I think, um, if I, I think Monday, um, if I wanted to go to a Taylor Swift concert, and I was just like, wait, what? Uh, and I was like, it's very out of the blue. And so what happened was uh, my brother-in-law's dad actually won these tickets in a newspaper contest. I didn't even know they did that. Um, most maybe probably because I don't read the newspaper. Um, but tickets were won, and he gave them to my sister. And so me and her are going. Um, she was actually gonna go anyways with her best friend. Um, so this is perfect. Now I get to go. Um, so this is out of the blue. Uh, so I'm on my way over to my sister's house right now so that we can go together. Um, and then yeah, it should be fun times. Um, other than that, I don't exactly know. Um, what else to talk about? I think I'm just gonna end the video when the Taylor, when the concert's over. Um, so yeah. Also, I applied for district committee. Um, again, um, I don't know if I said that before, but district committee apps came out about two and a half weeks ago. Or actually, two weeks ago. Um, and um, just missed the light. And um, so I applied for them. I applied for um, Qantas Family Foundations again, um, just like I did last year. And um, I also applied for Fall Training Conference. So that should be interesting. Um, yeah, I didn't apply for Five Fun again, um, just to give other people the opportunity. Um, and some of the positions I actually really wanted, or I would have uh, applied for aren't offered um, this term, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I submitted my application two days ago on Wednesday. Um, and then actually, so, Wednesday I submitted my um, FTC one, and then um, mon Monday I submitted my um, KFAM one, and so those are going through. Um, actually, those did go through, and um, I'm going into the application or not the application, but the interview process uh, for both of those. Um, so that's great. Uh, I guess I'm qualified enough for an interview. Um, so hopefully things um, do stuff with that. I don't know. Um, 
I'm looking forward to it. it should be very, very fun and interesting. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think district committee is probably my favorite part about being part of Circle K at this point. Um, just because of the past two years that I've been on board have kind of just been, um, have been a great experience, have been very fun. Um, but I found district committee just to be a lot more fun um, than anything else. But I'm gonna focus on driving. Uh, I'll probably catch you guys back um, at the concert or with my sister. Um, but other than that, God, wow, that is my new um, verbal thing, huh? Another, like a new um or an ah uh or a uh, and like, wow, huh? Alrighty, well, I will see y'all later. I'm gonna drive, goodbye. All right, so there's supposed to be right here some clips from the Scottish Love concert. But this is future Calvin talking and saying that I originally uh, uploaded this vlog about a couple days ago and it got copy strike. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? So I woke up this morning to a copy strike on the video. <clears throat> and it wasn't pretty great at all. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk through this entire thing and basically what's going on. Um, this is future Calvin talking in a past vlog, but really freaking unfortunate. Um, I should have known this by now. Um, with specifically Taylor Swift, um, I've had this problem, I've had this issue before with Taylor Swift um, um, copywriting my music and, or copywriting my videos and taking them down. Um, back in 2015, uh, I posted a video for my region training conference for Key Club, used the Taylor Swift song, used Wildest Dreams, and it was a remix. Totally thought it was going to be fine. Nope. Got muted um, the first time, and then I re-uploaded the video um, without changing anything. It was fine, and then about a couple weeks later, um, or a couple like a week later or so, um, got striking again. Didn't mute it, and then a couple days later after that, muted the video. So I realized that I probably should change the music, and I did that. Um, so the video is fine now, but <clears throat> the original is lost because of the muting. Um, and so what's going on here this time is that I actually got a copyright strike this time um, for interestingly enough not using Taylor Swift's actual music but it's from her concert live concerts should be free use uh if i'm not mistaken just because it's not under a real like recorded uh kind of all that copyright stuff but i'm sure it is um but i've never had this issue before with concerts um i've done it with justin bieber um i've done it with bruno mars and i've done it uh i think with some other ones that i'm cannot even think of right now. Uh, probably, I think only those two <clears throat> that I actually recorded. And so this time, it's very strange because it was filed under the International Federation of like phonographic um, something, um, but they are also in charge of Bruno Mars. So I'm kind of just like, what the heck? What's going on? And I realized it's because it's Taylor Swift. Um, Taylor Swift, <clears throat> if you don't know, has a really like, like strong hold on her music. Um, and who is really able to use it in what kind of videos and all that kind of media. And so, like, back in the day, um, probably like a few years ago, no, like three years ago, actually when I uploaded that video, there was this whole thing with Taylor Swift not having music on Apple Music um, or Apple whatever radio. And then there was also the whole thing with Taylor Swift not being on Spotify for a little bit um, and people kind of just being like, what's going on? And so me, being the person I am, um, just put all that together right now. Uh, well, not right now, but today. And unfortunately, uh, I have to put this in here um, to say that all of the stuff that I edited and recorded and did at the Taylor Swift concert can never be seen by anyone. Um, so unfortunately, that's the thing. I saw the original file of the original blog that I uploaded, which is totally fine. Um, it's just that that will never be public to you uh, because I did remove the video. Uh, YouTube <clears throat> because of the strike and um, also now I have a strike on my YouTube account um, which is real fortunate uh, it does go away um, after three months uh, so I do have to wait until September for the strike the end of September for the strike to be removed and my channel to be a little bit better um, I just can't get three strikes within a three month period or else my YouTube is uh, my channel is kind of kind of it'll be a, I think it's gonna get deactivated not so much so that it's um, removed and deleted, um, which I, I've heard. I've heard a lot of people um, talk about copyright.
after I strikes and what the, then the severity of the issues. Um, so it's just a strike um, for now, just one, uh, which is I'm okay with uh, for reasons that um, I know a lot of legal issues and there's I'm I will probably not be able to fight this um, because if I do I'm going to be using um, my previous vlogs as examples of me not getting uh, copyright strike. Um, but that in turn could get those videos copyright stricken. Um, so I'm just not going to do anything. Uh, I'll wait and to see what happens there. Um, those videos do get copy strike, um, copy written and get a copy strike for them. Um, then I will re-upload them without the uh, infringed material. Um, but other than that, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about in this section um, that's supposed to be Taylor Swift's concert. Um, it was a really good concert, not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, really unfortunate that that had to happen. I have to put this in and re-upload and re-edit the video and um, do all that kind of stuff. But that's okay. Um, it happens. Uh, the I think what happened because of this um, and what kind of sparked this was the sudden increase in views on this video uh, uh, on the original upload that I had um, in between some vlogs that didn't have a lot of views. Um, the view count jumped up to about 70 within the past two days, um, which is a big spike for me. Um, so that could have been a really like kind of red alarm for the company, um, this international uh, federation of photographic whatever. And um, that could be a reason why it was found to be um, copyright and all that kind of stuff. Cause like just that huge spike in views is uh, something to be, to take note of. Um, for sure, especially on a small channel like mine. Um, but I guess with that being said, um, I've learned my lesson with Taylor Swift music. Never do that again. Um, not down to redo a lot of my videos um, because of Taylor Swift music, um, which kind of sucks because Taylor Swift is really good music. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share my experience um, with the Taylor Swift concert, but I guess that's not happening. I'm, just, I'm sharing my experience with this um, instead. Um, but I think if I remember correctly, I do talk about it. Uh, my experience at the concert after this. Um, yeah, it was really fun. But uh, with that being said, I will just let that go and uh, catch you in the next vlog. Watch the newest one. Watch, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, that's the end of this. Uh, back to your regularly scheduled vlog from the past. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, Taylor Swift was actually really awesome. Uh, I didn't think I was actually gonna really enjoy it. Uh, my camera's also dying, uh, so I might cut out. But yeah, that was a really good concert. Um, Taylor Swift's always like a really good performer. Uh, even back when I watched her in like 2012 or something, back in way back when I watched uh, concerts with my sister, um, like all the time. And um, yeah. I mean, Taylor's was really good, uh, if you can tell from the, all the footage I took. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, tomorrow is Relay for Life, so I'm going to be vlogging there, but I'm going to end the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, may the power protect you, and I'll see you next time. Uh, I guess my camera isn't dying, so I guess because I ended it, that's okay, but I guess I'm going to keep talking until my camera dies. Taylor's was really awesome. Um, yeah, I saw my uncle because he was working at the stadium. Um, that's a really nice, that was my first time at Levi Stadium. Like, Wow, what a good stadium. Uh, like, it's beautiful. Um, but we also had some transportation issues getting back. Um, we were trying to take the like the transit system back uh, to my sister's house, and that didn't work, and then I ended up taking a lift. And yeah, what, a, what an adventure. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way back to Santa Cruz. It's about 12, uh, 43, or it is 12, 43 uh, a.m. So yeah, other than that, uh, I'm gonna focus on driving, gonna listen to Taylor Swift uh, for a little bit. And then, um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. See you later.